Whew. I don't even know how to start this video. Serious topic, obviously, no spinning, nothing on that. You know, going into IOP this morning, it was good. It's a good day. But then Xbox, uh, some, some news leaked, which I already knew. The, I already knew it. But, you know, this was something particular that was so sensitive, I didn't feel comfortable stating anything relatively close to what's actually going on until I seen more people collaborate the story. What is the story? You may add. What's the story? <laughs> These people at Xbox are essentially going third party. The rumors for months have been confirmed. Now we are no longer trying to make games to be appealing for a consumer to come over here and play games. Now, essentially, we don't know because, you know, right now it's been leaked all over the place. Tom Warner's talking about it. Almost everyone you could think of is talking about it. Like, this isn't a matter of if, it's a matter of when. I'm curious how they're going to announce this. You know, generally, you would make console games, get people on your console, and then you would sell them those games, sell them third-party games, so the DLCs, you get a little cut from the DLCs in the third party games. And that's I pretty much how the console industry has been going for years. But recently, you know, uh, Xbox decided that they're going to change that. Uh, it's been highly rumored and confirmed at this point. Not necessarily confirmed. It's not confirmed until Xbox comes out there and says it. But apparently that's that's soon. Sometime this month, I would say that's been sped up dramatically because of how many people's talking about it. Like it's literally spreading on Wi-Fi. Everyone's talking about it. You know, initially I was going to wait. I was going to wait till tomorrow and I was going to see what was going on. I was going to see if they are essentially doing what they're doing. I was going to give them the benefit of the doubt, but then I was sitting here and I'm just sitting here talking to myself. And I know it sounds crazy and I might need help with that, but I'm just like, I don't understand. I don't get it. You know, when you look at it from a, a, a console manufacturer, it's like I said, you make the games, they come. To me, the gaming part has been so inconsistent with the Xbox that I felt like that's always been their biggest hiccup. Always. And I think the part that irritates me the most on what's going on with this particular situation is the fact that I believe 2024 they had access to a lot of games i think 2024 they were going to have a phenomenal year fam we in two months into 2024 and it's looking like they already done wrapped up the whole 2024 what am i talking about starfield it's coming to that playstation eventually by rumors hi-fi rush yeah that's over there too People are even speculating on Twitter that Gears and Halo are coming. And at this point, if they put something like Starfield on there because they put so much money and resources into that, why should that be any different? You know, there is a realm where this works out for them. You know, where they have timed exclusives and they come out with good games after good games and they force people to go into their ecosystem. And I can see a realm where that can work. Kinda. Just depending on the quality of the games, because me as a gamer, I'm not going to wait two years to play something. But then there's the, the wild card PC. These games will also come out on PC day and date. So it's kind of a wishy-washy area. It's a gray area. So I could see how that could work. Less with the PC side, but I can see why Microsoft would see that this would be a good way of getting revenue on both ends, on the Xbox and place it, especially when you put something like game pass in it, where game pass is going to be on the end or at the beginning, when you get out on the Xbox platform, you know, you get the sales from PC, you get the subscriptions from both services. And then after a certain amount of time, I, we don't even know that it could literally come day and date. We don't know anything at this point, but I would assume there's going to be like a year to two before it comes out to other platforms. And then it will come out to PlayStation and to switch into whatever console. Google might be making a platform by then. We don't know. Amazon. And then they'll collect the sales from that initially as well. You know, to me, PlayStation's been doing this porting stuff to PC, and it's never really 
captivated to much of anything because when a game gets reported onto a platform after it comes out, initially you don't see the kind of sales that it could have had day one. So maybe they will do day one. I don't know. Because at that point, what's the point of having an Xbox at all? And I know people are like, oh, well, addict, you know, they're not focusing on the Xbox anymore. C clearly. Clearly. Definitely understand that clearly. But at the same time, when you look at this perspective, you look at what's going on. The reason that I feel like focusing on the Xbox is essential and what they're doing is because if you work on PC, they still have a Windows thing. They can still do something with PC regardless what happens. But when it comes to porting games to PlayStation or porting games to Xbox, you know, Game Pass has been such a huge essential part of their thing that even if you didn't do a third party, you're at the will of whoever platform you're working with at that time switch can wake up one day and be like you know what we don't want your service on our platform anymore cut it out playstation could say you know what we we want to do what we're doing cut it out and that that's where my biggest thing was like i wanted to make sure that they had the the ecosystem behind them now maybe this works out for for, for xbox my fear in this scenario is what's going to end up happening is they're going to take so much value out of the Xbox platform because they've been doing it for the longest time. Hell, they had literally a star-filled commercial saying you don't need a console to play it. Now, obviously, cloud computing is another business of Microsoft, but to me, you can easily promote that without uh, punching down on another product that you own. I think that was a mistake. You put everything on PC day and date, so right there devalues the console itself. Maybe not the ecosystem, but definitely the console. And now you can put it on PlayStation and the Switch. And that, what's people going to say? Even if it's a year or two away, unless it's like a huge ca captivating game, they can just play it on Xbox, play PC. Why even wait? You know, I do think this is a mistake. I don't know if they're going to be successful in this. They might be successful. You know, maybe we put too much emphasis on exclusive games. Maybe they don't necessarily sell as many consoles as, as we initially thought, if we've always thought. Maybe we'll actually find that out. But it's just like, to me, it's just like you, Phil Spencer, Sarah Bond, Matt Booty, they all put this brand on their back for the past decade. And I feel like everything is leading up to now to they're finally going to start getting three or four games out a year. And I feel like they're going to have the games, something they have solely lacked for a while now. Do they have games? Yes, but I do feel like the quality is inconsistent. And I, I personally feel like 2024 and 2025, you're really going to see that quality skyrocket and be more consistent. And it's just frustrating that now that I feel like they're at that point where they can actually captivate and do something good, I feel like the higher ups, the people that make the money, they're going to come in there and they'll be like, look, we feel like we can make more money because we have ABK now. I think ABK is solely responsible for this. I think ABK, when they had that, they realized how much money ABK is making off of a third-party aspect. They're like, we could just be third-party. You know, to me, this doesn't work out for a console. This console right here, this thing right here, to me, it's not going to sell anything remote like the predecessors right now, the Xbox Series S and X. And I think it's just going to get worse because you're giving less less value to the platform. But anyway, you guys, put in the comment section below what you guys feel. Look, I know this is a sensitive subject. I was going to wait, but I can't wait. I got to hear what you guys have to, to say. You know, put in the comment section below and we can definitely talk about this. I'm going to definitely respond to a lot of comments from this. I'm trying to get better at the responding. I just get so busy in the, the things I'm doing. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button. You know, I make content pretty much weekly. Usually I don't make content on Sunday, but usually Sunday don't have stuff like this drops. Uh, thank God I didn't go towards completely Xbox. Now, obviously, I'm still going to make Xbox content for the foreseeable future because regardless, even if they jump out of it, they still have a lot of stuff that I can, you know, relatively cover. You know, the studios is the thing I, I care the most about. The hardware is important to me, too, because I like the ecosystem, but the studios, that's the core of my content and really has always been the core of my content. But anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm very curious for you guys' opinion. Until next time, this is Gaming Addict. I'm out of here. Peace.